And Muslims are, you know, maybe the biggest um, victims of terrorism as well all over the world. If you look at Boko Haram and some of the other people, uh, they're, they're killing Muslims more than non-Muslims sometimes, right? So it's not that Muslims are not affected by this. Muslims are affected by this as well. But I think we need to take a good, honest look and see, you know, if this is God's final religion, He left it in a very messy situation and with a lot of hatred and a lot of, you know, a lot of ammunition for, for violent terrorism. The Islamic texts are prone to violent terrorism. And fortunately, this is, a, this is the reality of the situation. You know, the concept of martyrdom. And this is why, out of the blue, in places like Britain and in America, you get people like Johnny Walker Lind. And you get these people that, you know, they'll go and they'll join ISIS and they'll join the Taliban out of the blue, just like that. It's like, it's like, it's just the idea of Islamic Jihad. It appeals to them and it, it becomes such a thing that they just go and join. Whereas you wouldn't find this with political terrorism. Like you wouldn't find just, you know, springing up in the middle of nowhere in white rural America, some Buddhist terrorist or some Jain terrorist or some Scientologist terrorist. Islam is vulnerable to violent extremism. We have to acknowledge that and we have to face that fact. This is the reality. I do not believe in discriminating Muslims. I believe the majority of Muslims are well integrated and they love their neighbors and their non-Muslim neighbors and they want good for them.